Now joining us from Pittsburgh Irish and Classical Theater's House and Garden are director Melissa Hill Grandy and actor Martin Giles. Martin has performed in, directed, and written numerous shows in the Pittsburgh region. The Pittsburgh Post-Gazette recently raved about Martin's turn as Max in City Theater's Louder Faster, saying he launches the show with smarmy perfection. <laughs> Melissa is the Associate Artistic Director and Marketing Director of Pittsburgh Irish and Classical Theater. She has directed shows at Pict, No Name Players, and Bricolage. WRCT said of her recent production of Shakespeare in the Park's Much Ado About Nothing, Melissa brought out the essential meanings and intricacies of the text and made good and colorful use of the natural scenery. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. So, House and Garden, huge play, two plays actually, large cast. How are these two plays being performed at the same time? Where did this idea come from? The idea, I mean, it, they were written this way. Alan Ackbourne, the playwright, has done, um, he's actually the most produced living playwright in the world, or in the English-speaking world. And uh, many of his plays have interesting hooks. And um, this came from the theater where he normally works in Scarborough that has two spaces that are very close together, uh, as we have at the University of Pittsburgh, with the Charity Randall and the Henry Heyman Theater being on top of one another. And he thought, wouldn't it be cool if the actors ran back and forth and did one play in one space and another play in the other space mm -hmm. and just kind of hopped back and forth from scene to scene. And, at the same time. Uh, at the same, same time. time. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yes, the two yeah. plays run yeah. at the same time in two different spaces with the same cast. Okay. And the audience does not move, but the actors right. run back and forth. So usually, yeah, whenever we see a play and the person leaves, we don't quite know what's going on. But now you'll go, you'll leave this scene, right. and you'll go down and you'll continue your character's through line into the next play. Right. All right, great. So, um, so you're directing one of them. I'm directing Garden. Right. Yes. And then who's directing the other? Uh, Andrew Paul, who is the artistic director of Pict, is directing right. House. Great. All right. So um, what are the differences that we have between the two shows? How are, how are the shows different in, in sort of design, or, or are they sort of consistent throughout? Well, one's inside and one's outside. I mean, that's okay. uh, you know, fairly obvious. But the uh, you know, House is it's an old, it's an old Tudor English manor house, and so it's very tall. and you know, like high walls and French doors and, right. you know, and uh, garden is, you know, it's, it's, it's bushes and benches and grass. So it's yeah. a very real different feeling for both, for each play, yeah. What is the story center around? Uh, the story actually centers around, both stories uh, center around Teddy Platt, who Marty plays, and uh, his household, the things going on in his household on this one particular day uh, in house, um, everything is centered on a man who is coming to lunch who could actually send Teddy into a political career if he chooses to back him. So there's sort of a, a lot of high stakes for how this luncheon goes with this man and everyone around him, but um, things aren't going the way he wants them to. Yeah. Uh, in Garden, Teddy breaks up with his mistress, which sort of launches her into a nervous breakdown, <laughs> and you see all of the repercussions on her son, who is in love with Teddy's daughter, their next door neighbors, um, his father, who is Teddy's best friend, mm -hmm. um, and other people in the neighborhood because also on this day, they're having their annual neighborhood garden fete, sort of like a neighborhood party, a carnival right. in the backyard, you know, with a fortune teller and, you know, little games and stuff. So people are coming to set up everything on the lawn while all of this is going on. Oh, wow. We were uh, watching a, a scene the other night, a couple another actor and I, and we were just marveling at how much happens in this play, in these plays. Yeah. You just kind of go, wow. I mean, the scenes go on so much longer than you think yeah. that they will. Like, you think, okay, well, this will be the end of the scene, and then somebody else, and more happens. And I mean, it's just, it's so dense and rich and ridiculous. And, <laughs> you know, it's really... It should be noted these plays are hilarious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it's yeah. sort of They're farcical really in the funny. sense of where yes. they... Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But also... The sad and bittersweet and yeah right so there's a lot of different things that sort of get thrown yeah. in yeah. It's, and it's comedy but there are consequences to the actions mm -hmm. it, and everything does get wrapped up and you think that things are go going to go along and lives may get better but there are no easy happy endings right. which I think makes it feel a little more lives realistic. Lives may not get better. Actually. Lives may not get yeah. better. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I tend to look at it glass half full, that <laughs> things are going to be good. Teddy and Lucille may get together, and right, right. all sorts of great things may Could happen. happen. Cool. Could happen. So you're a part of this huge cast that's yeah. running between these two shows. Right. How do you, one, not run into each other, and two, 
uh, you know, you leave one scene and come into the next. What happens if one scene runs too long? You know, how do you time this? Well, we're actually getting to the point, uh, we've been rehearsing them separately so far, so we're getting to the point where we'll discover all of that. Uh, yeah. and then I, over the weekend, actually, I think we're, we're starting to rehearse mm -hmm. si simultaneously, so we'll, we'll find out. It's, it's a, I think it's just a matter of, you know, it's a matter of practice. It's a matter of, uh, right. uh, you know, we'll do it a few times, we'll see what the problems are, and then we'll... Um, and, yeah, as far as uh, if something happens, I, I mean, that's live theater, so... <laughs> right. It's kind of live theater squared in this case, yeah. so it'll be... Uh, <laughs> We'll have to figure it out. You know, we'll just have to, we'll have to wing it in some way. There are a couple of um, contingency plans, I think, aren't there? Like, there's well, yeah, a, we have some backup plans. Yeah. We, have some, yeah. we have some tricks in our back there's pocket. A, excellent. There's, there's a dog in the play but who you never see. You just mm -hmm. hear him barking, and I, my character yells at him a lot. Um, so he's a possible. He's part of the contingency. Oh, plan. excellent. <laughs> the dog can always make him. Yeah. How do you like working with another director? This is the first time that you've co-directed something, and how are you keeping um, everything consistent? Yeah, I've worked with Andrew for so many years now that, that we work very well together. Um, and really, I'm directing Garden, he's directing House, but we're at each other's rehearsals watching. Okay. Um, so if we have questions, we can ask one another. But I think the actors are keeping things consistent because the characters the truths of the characters carry through from one play to the other, and you know right. the arc of their individual storylines um, weaves through both plays. So in a way, each of these actors is doing a different two-hour play, but right. the audience will see either one two-hour play or the other two-hour so play. So they can't leave one play and come to the other mm. play at like intermission? No. No, okay, so they <laughs> no, they'd watch really be one full <laughs> well, They'll or watch or one yeah. full play, and they can watch, they can come to ha Garden first or House first. I would suggest maybe getting your tickets for Garden first because it's a much smaller space. Mm -hmm. um, so as things sell out, it'll be harder to get into garden right. than house. Um, but you can see them in either order. Uh, if you only have time to come to one, each play stands alone. They, you know, they're full individual plays, but the real fun is seeing one and then coming to the other and remembering, oh, they were just up there doing that other thing. Right. You know. Excellent. Um, so Marty, do you feel like you've run a marathon by the end of this one? I think, I, yeah, I think we will definitely feel that way. Because when you, you um, you know, in a in a sense, you're only performing for two hours. I mean, it's it's a, it's almost like you're only doing one play, but right. you're but you are running around a lot. And and in the case of most characters, there's not uh, there's no rest. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's no you know, uh, as you say, when you exit, uh, you From know, in, in a single play, you you would probably just go backstage and have some water. In this case, <laughs> you'll exit and run down the stairs and and go play another scene. So I think it's going to be uh, it's going to be. Definitely a marathon-like, yes. Excellent. A lot of fun, <laughs> yeah. then. A lot of fun, yeah. Hey, great. Um, okay, well then, Pittsburgh Irish and Classical Theater presents House and Garden, running June 23rd through July 17th. For tickets, visit them on the web at www.pictheater.org. Thank you both for joining me. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.